Hello, I'm Emma from the Information Lab and this is my tips and tricks video for understanding measure names and measure values in Tableau. I'd like to introduce how you can create charts and tables that compare multiple measures in the same view. So this is really useful if you want to be able to compare different figures on the same axis or in the same table. And here's a few ways um, how, to, how to make them and how they can also go wrong. So my first example, I want to look at sales and profit by department and order priority. So the first thing I'm going to do is take department from my data window in my dimensions list and just click and drag that onto my rows. And then I'm going to take order priority again from dimensions and place that onto my columns shelf at the top of the view. Okay, so this is creating the structure of my table. So in this table, I also want to add profit and sales. So I compare the two figures for each different order priority across different departments. And this might let me see if we make more sales in a different department when we've got um, a critical order priority, for example. So let's just go ahead and try adding profit to the view. Okay, so that's worked really well. I can see the figures for profit across my departments and my order priority. So let's do the same thing with sales. Great. So I now have two new rows for each department, profit and sales, across my order priorities. But let's look at how Tableau has created this view. So you can see that on the row shelf, Tableau has created or has, has placed a field called measure names onto a shelf. And if we look on the marks card at text, we can see that Tableau has also placed a field called measure values. And by doing that, it's also created a new shelf here, measure values shelf. And we have our two measures, profit and sales, contained in this card. So in my data source, I don't have a column called measure names, and I don't have a column called measure values. So where have they come from? Well, Tableau's created these itself and placed measure names in our dimensions and measure values in our measures. And we can tell that Tableau has created them because they are italicised as well. Um, number of records, and in this case, longitude and latitude, they're all italicised. So we know that Tableau has generated these fields itself. So what does measure names and measure values actually do? Well, in this case, measure names is a dimension, so it's going to behave like most dimensions do. And it's going to split our view or it's going to create partitions or segments, and it's labelling our columns and our rows. Measure values, in this case, is acting as a container for profit and sales. So this is just allowing us to display those figures, and measure names is splitting those figures into the two different rows in this case. We also find that measure names is on the filter shelf. And if I just right click this and show the quick filter, which appears in the right hand side of the view, I can see that measure names has a list of all the measures that I have in my data source. So I can see down the left hand side in the data window, in the measures list, all the different measures. Now, I can use this quick filter to add in extra measures into my table 
if I want to. So here I've ticked order quantity in measure names and we can see that order quantity has been placed into the measure values shelf so it's now being contained in measure values and it's come up as a new row in my table and measure names is giving it the label. Great. So hopefully that starts to explain what measure names and measure values can do. Now a table is great but perhaps you want to see um, a, a chart, a, a simple line chart of, of profit and sales over time so we compare these two figures over time and see correlations perhaps between them, you know, do they follow each other as sales go up, goes up, does profit go up and to do that it's best if profit and sales shares an, an axis. So I'm going to go and create a new worksheet. I'm going to go to my data window and select order date from my dimensions. This time I'm going to right click and drag and drop order date to columns. And by right clicking it creates a prompt for me to select the type of date field that I want to place on the column shelf. And I want to have a look at a continuous date and I want it to be at the month level so I'm going to select month and order date here. Press OK and now I've got an axis at the bottom which contains the months of, of the order date. And now I want to go ahead and look at profit and sales. So I'm going to try and do what I did before and double click profit and double click sales. Okay, so this time Tableau's not been that helpful. I'm, I can still compare my profit and sales, but they don't share the same axis. And we can see that the axis for profit is a lot lower than the axis for sales, so it might not be the best for comparison. So I'm just going to go go back and take those off the view. Now, I could go ahead and build this manually, so I could take measure values from my measures list and place that onto rows, and because I've just taken measure values and I'm not filtering by measure names, it's just placed all of the measures in the values, in the measure values shelf. So, okay, let's go ahead and add measure names to my filter shelf and Let's right click that and show quick filter and let's just select profit and sales. Okay, so Tableau doesn't know that I need to split these measures. So the way that we can split or label our data is to use measure names like we did in the table. So I'm going to take measure names from my dimensions list and place that on colour on the mark shelf. And by doing that, I'm splitting measure values into profit and sales, and it's colouring the lines. But this is much easier to compare the values of profit and sales when they're on the same axis. There is an easy, even easier way to create this view, and this is quite useful. So I'm going to start a new sheet and, and start the same way so I'm going to right click order date from my dimensions place it on columns and then use continuous month again ok and this time I'm going to take profit from my measures list drag and drop onto the view so I want it to be on rows so I'm going to drag it here to rows and now when I take sales from my measures list, I'm going to drag and drop that on top of the new axis that's appeared for profit. And you can see that on the axis, when I hover over it with my cursor, I've got this green icon that looks like two columns. So if I drop that there, I'm telling Tableau that I want to create a shared axis. And so Tableau will automatically place measure, measure names and measure values in the correct places for me. So that's a nice little tip there. 
There is also an easier way to create the text table. And to get Tableau to automatically drop measure names and measure values into the view to create it. And this is done just by double clicking. So I know that I want department, so double click. And I want order priority, double click. And then again, double click profit and double click sales. And again, Tableau knows that we're trying to place two measures on the same view. So it's automatically placed in measure names onto the row shelf for us, measure values onto text in the mark shelf, and created that filter of just profit and just sales. And again, I can go ahead and add or take away items from my measure values card. So I can place in any of these measures and I can take them away again.